Today we're going to show you how to calibrate a Melochex incubator thermometer to a glass bulb thermometer. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to set the uh, calibration setting for the thermometer to zero degrees. So what we do is we hit the program button, hold it for three seconds, it beeps, go down to the U13 parameter, hit the S button to set it, currently set at 0 0.5, I'm going to reduce it to 0, hold the S button and hold the P button for 3 seconds. Now the uh, temperature calibration is set to 0, next thing we need to do is set the set point to 40 degrees. To do that we hold the S button set mode button down for 3 seconds, it beeps, it shows us the temperature set point is set to 39 degrees. We need to adjust it to 40. I'm going to adjust it up with the arrows. Once it's there, I'll hold the S button for 3 seconds. And it beeps, and the settings are set now. Now we're ready to uh, load the glass thermometer into the incubator. To do the uh, calibration, you need a glass thermometer and you need a press stick ball the size of a chicken egg. Now we're ready to load the thermometer into the incubator. What you'll find is at the top of the incubator is a little hole. You will push the thermometer through that hole. Now you can see the thermometer in the incubator. What I'm going to do now is put in the plastic ball. So you'd roll the plastic ball into a round shape, similar in size to a chicken egg. And what you'll do is you will press it onto the bulb of the thermometer, where the bulb is going to sit more or less in the center of the plastic ball. Okay, now you can see the thermometer with the plastic ball at the bottom. Now we're ready to close the incubator doors and start the calibration. The incubator doors are closed now. Now you'll let the uh, incubator run for 24 hours before we come and take readings and uh, uh, are able to calculate the calibration setting for the digital uh, thermometer. Okay, the temperature is increasing now. It's now 39.9. So what we'll wait for it to do is increase to the maximum and then start dropping again. And uh, then we'll get the maximum value. It's now reached the set point, 40 degrees. So the heating element is now switched off. Um, the temperature will continue to increase because the heating element still has heat in it. It's now 40.1. Okay, so the maximum was 40.1. Now you see the temperature is dropping. So now we will get to uh, work out the minimum. So we have to wait till it drops to the lowest temperature and starts rising again. So now 
Okay, so the temperature is now 39.8, so the lowest temperature we got to was 39.7. So now what we do is we take the uh, highest temperature we've got, which is 40.1, and the lowest, which is uh, 39.7, and we add the two, and uh, we're going to get to um, 79.8. Uh, we get the average of that, and uh, the temperature average is going to be 39.9. What we do then is we take the uh, temperature that we read from the uh, glass thermometer, which was 40 degrees. We subtract the average temperature that we worked out from the uh, incubator uh, thermometer uh, that was displayed on the computer. And that difference we are now going to put into the uh, calibration setting. So in this case, it's going to be 40 degrees for the uh, thermometer value, less the average uh, for the incubator thermometer, which was uh, 39.9, which gives us a difference of 0 0.1 degrees positive. So take, uh, take a note of the sign, either it's a negative or positive, in this case it's a positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the program mode now. We hit the P button, hold it for three seconds, uh, go to the calibration setting, it says set to zero, and we go and put the 0 0.1 now. Okay, once we're happy with that, we would now save the setting, hit the P button, hold it for three seconds, and uh, now the uh, thermometer for the incubator computer has been calibrated uh, against the glass thermometer, right? So ideally, um, the average of the incubator computer should equal the thermometer, the glass thermometer. So what we'd normally do now is run it for another 24 hours, uh, do the same calculations, and any difference we would add or subtract to the current uh, value of the uh, calibration setting in the computer. We recommend that you at least run two cycles of calibration over a 48-hour period to make sure that the uh, glass thermometer uh, temperature is very close to the average of the uh, incubator computer high and low. After you've done that, you're ready to uh, load your incubator with eggs for hatching.